Welcome guys. In the last video, we learned how to track a single object using OpenCV Tracker in a recorded or live video. And there was a limitation at that time in our program that we can track only a single object at a time. But what if we have to track many objects? So this is what we are going to learn today that how will we track multiple objects? So without wasting any time, let's start writing the code. So first of all, I will import the OpenCV module in my program. So here I will write import CV2 and then I will import the NumPy module. So here I will write import NumPy as NP. And then I will load the video file which I will be using here. So let me show you the video file I have right now. So today I will use this video file and here we are going to detect multiple objects which are car in this case. So here I will create an object of video capture class. And then I will provide the name of the video file as argument. And after this I will use a while loop to access the frame from my video. So inside it I will write frame equals to cap dot read and then I will write here one so this will provide me the frame from my video so I need to check whether I get the frame or not so in case I do not get the frame then our frame is none so we will simply break the loop otherwise we can display the frame on the screen so I will use I'm show function and inside it I will provide the window name and after this, I will give the frame. And before displaying the frame, I, I need to resize the frame because I know that they are quite big and they will not fit on the screen. So I will use here resize function to resize my frame. So I will write cv2.resize and this will take two arguments. The first one is the frame which I want to resize and the second argument is the size of the frame which I want. Okay, after it, I will, I will give some waiting time. So I will use wait key function and let's give the waiting time of 30 millisecond. And at the end, I will release the capture object and then I will destroy the window. So I will use destroy all windows function. Now I think the code is fine up till now. So let's run it and see if it is working. Okay, it is working good. Now the next step is to track the objects from the video and for that we have seven different trackers available inside the OpenCV library. So what I will do is that I will create a dictionary of these seven trackers. So here I will write object trackers. And then I will create a dictionary and inside this dictionary, I will provide different trackers. So the first tracker I have is CSRT and it is inside the legacy class of OpenCV. And the second tracker we have is named as Mose. So here I will write Mose. And again, it is inside the legacy class of OpenCV. The third tracker we have is named as KCF. And it is also inside the legacy class of OpenCV. And in the similar way, I will provide the rest of the four trackers in the dictionary. So the four tracker we have is made in flow. And the fifth tracker I have is MIL. Now the sixth tracker I have is TLD tracker. And the last tracker 
is boosting tracker which is inside the OpenCV library. Now after this, I have to initialize the multi-tracker class of OpenCV because I want to track multiple objects at the same time. So here I will write trackers and then I will write CV2 and inside the legacy class we have multi-tracker class. And this class will let us to track multiple objects at the same time. Now before start tracking, we must have the object to track of course and for that we need to detect the object. Here we will perform manual detection and for that we need to define a procedure. So what can I do is that I will store the written value of wait key function and then I will check which key is pressed. So the procedure will be like that. If I have to select any object for detection, then I will press S and the video will be stopped and then I will select the object using the mouse and after this I will press enter and the video will be continued again. So here I will use the if statement and I will check if I have pressed the S or any other key. And in case if I have pressed the S, it simply means that I want to select the object. So here I will write ROI and then I will write cb2.selectROI function and this will let me to select the region of interest or the object which I want to detect. And inside it I will provide the name of the window which is tracking and then I will provide the frame. Now after this I need to initialize a tracker for tracking. So here I will write tracker and then I will write object trackers and then I will provide the tracker key. So here we have seven different trackers for tracking and I will use here KCF tracker because I found that this tracker was performing the best in this case. So here I will provide the key of KCF tracker and now I have to provide the tracker, the region of interest as well as the frame to the multi tracker class. So here I will write trackers and then I will use add function and this will take three parameters. The first one is tracker, the second one is frame and the last one is ROI. Now let's run the code and see if this is working. So now I will press S, the video will be stopped and now I will select any object for tracking. Okay, there is an error. Where is it? Okay, here we have to put the brackets and let's run the code again. Now I will select an object using my mouse and then I will press enter. Okay. This is how we can select many objects as much as we want. Now after detection, we have to start the tracking. And for that, here I will write success, comma box. And then I will write trackers. And then I will use update function and inside it I will provide the frame and this will provide me with two values the first one is the boolean value which will be stored in success it can be true and it can be false in case if it is true it means that the tracking for all the object is successful otherwise tracking is failed and inside the boxes we will have the bounding boxes which indicate the location of the object which we are tracking so I, what I will do is that I will pick the boxes from there one by one. So here I will use for loop. And inside the box, I will find the coordinates of the bonding box. So here I will write X, Y, 
W and H. And then I will write int and inside it I will provide C and then I will use a for loop to extract the coordinates. So here X and Y are the top left point of the bonding box and W is the width of the bonding box and H is the height. And now using this information, I will draw the bonding box on the frame. So here I will use rectangle function of OpenCV. And then I will provide the frame. And then I will provide the top left point, which is X comma Y. And then I will provide the bottom right point. And after this, I will give the color and then the thickness of the rectangle. Now let's run the code and see if it is working. Okay, now if I press S, video will be stopped and using my mouse, I will select the region of interest and this is how we can track any object. So you can select as many object as you want. So this is how we can select many object and we can track them. This is an easy way to track multiple objects in a video, but this is not an efficient way. And this is because if you are continuously selecting more and more ROIs, then the number of objects to be tracked are also increasing. And the multi-tracker class of OpenCV is not optimized for that. It is also searching for those objects as well for which the tracking is failed and they are no more in the video. So we need to perform some optimization. Otherwise, with the passage of time, our tracking process will slow down. So what can I do is that I will check whether in the success variable the value is true or false and in case if the value is false it simply means that for one or more object the tracking is failed. So I need to remove the information of those objects. So here I will use an if statement to check if the success is false and in case if the condition is true then I will extract the bounding boxes from the multi-tracker object. So here I will write bounding boxes equals to and then I will write trackers dot get objects. Now just for understanding, let's print the value of bonding boxes and see what we are getting here. Now I will run the code. And then I will select few objects for tracking. And now I will terminate the program. Now if I can show you in the console window, there are some arrays. And these arrays basically are the bounding boxes. And each bounding box is representing an object which we are tracking. And if you notice, there are some arrays in which all the elements are zero. And these arrays are basically representing those objects which have disappeared from the scene. So we need to remove these arrays because we don't want the tracker to look for those objects anymore. So what I will do is that I will find the indexes of those arrays for which the elements are not zero. So here I will write idx equals to and then I will use the where function from numpy. And inside I will write bounding boxes. And then I will use some function and inside I will write axis equals to 1. So this will provide me with sum of all the elements in an array. And then I will check 
whether the sum is equals to 0 or not. So here I will write not equals to 0 and outside I will write 0. Now this will provide me the index of those arrays in which the elements are not 0. And using these indexes, I will find the bounding boxes of those objects for which the tracking is not failed. And now I will run the program. Now I will select few objects for tracking. And now I will terminate the program. Now in the console window, you can see that there is no array in which the elements are zero. Now the next step is to reinitialize the multi tracker class. So here I will write trackers equals to cv2 and inside the legacy class, we have multi tracker class. And after this, I will start the tracking again using the bounding boxes which we extracted. So here I will use the for loop to pick the bounding box one by one. And then I will write trackers dot add function. And inside this function, I will provide tracker. and then the frame and then the bounding box now let's run the code again and now again i will select few objects for tracking So again, our program is tracking the object which we detected, but this time our program is efficient. So this is how we can track the multiple objects using OpenCV Tracker. That's all for now. Thanks for watching this video.